Dunt video two of layers of the earth. Are you ready to rock? In this layer, we're going to learn about the difference between the physical and chemical layers of the earth, but we are going to concentrate on the physical layers in this video. Video Physical layers, which are based upon properties, aka phases of matter, which are liquid, solid, and gas. Okay. What you want to do is set up a chart like this in your science journal where you have the five physical layers, and these are actually going in order from the center of the earth to the outside, and you're going to want to write down what their temperature and trend are. Trend meaning is it going, temperature getting warmer or colder as you go away from the center. The pressure, trend, phase of matter, the size of the layer, and any fun facts. You're going to need way more space than this to write in. So you're going to have one, you know, more space in your notebook. Let's cruise. The inner core. It's the center of our Earth. Hottest temperatures. It's made up basically of metal, of iron, because as our early Earth was, as you learn in the earlier unit, basically magma to start with. Um, iron started cooling, and iron's very dense, and it sank towards the center, the inner core. It has the highest pressure due to all the mass of the Earth pushing inward on it, due to gravity. And, um, yeah, we would get pretty much squished if we were able to go there. Um, there's a little article in your... Um, packet about the inner core too and what's going on. Moving outwards we have the outer core. It's very hot, only up to about 4,000 degrees and it's liquid iron and metals. Okay, It's not enough pressure to turn the iron and other metals like nickel into solid, so it's a liquid. And as this liquid is spinning around the solid inner core, it creates the Earth's magnetic field, which is awesome. So we have inner core, then outer core, and then we get to the middle layer, the mesosphere. And it's uh, like hot asphalt, like blacktop, okay? Very hot, so it's moving sl very slowly, um, but it's solid, and it's cooler. It's the thickest layer, and remember that the mesosphere and middle both begin with the letter M. It, um, it's solid, like a blacktop driveway, but if you watch a blacktop driveway over time, it does tend to slowly move. When it gets more hot, it kind of expands, and when it gets colder, it shrinks. Now we get to the interesting layer, the asthenosphere, or asthenosphere. It's a magma-like liquid layer. We're going to learn a lot more about it here. It has plastic flow. Plastic flow is kind of in between a solid and a liquid. Okay? Convection occurs here. Convection also occurs in other layers, but this is really important, this convection here. It's the thinnest layer. It's the layer that moves the plates and the temperature. It's cooler than the mesosphere and warmer than the lithosphere. Um, energy or heat is getting concentrated in parts of the mesosphere and where it's more hot the asthenosphere really starts to rise and where the mesosphere is cooler the asthenosphere starts to sink so we're getting these big convection circles and the last layer is the lithosphere it's the outermost layer it has the crust where we walk on it's solid it floats if you want to think about it or on top of the asthenosphere it's the coolest temperature the outer part of the crust just go out and touch the ground. That's what temperature it is. Um, and remember, we live on the lithosphere. So another way of looking at this is to think the center of the Earth would be way down here and how thick all the layers are. The asthenosphere, roughly 3 to 10 miles thick versus the lithosphere can be you know, 15 to 25 miles thick. Thicker, of course, where mountains are. And it tells you about all the other layers and little hints about them. And lastly, hopefully, you will be able to draw and describe this picture. It's all the layers starting with the center, the inner core, moving outwards. And you can use all these words and put them in the correct spot. So that's what's going on there. Whoa, wrong slide. I want to go back once again. This was layers of the earth. And hopefully you have this filled out. I hope you have a great day. Look forward to it. We'll see you in class.